I'm Dr. Gabriel Bido. I'm working uh, mainly on uh, ischemic perfusion uh, syndromes. And uh, because we're working uh, at the hospital, uh, our main aim is to uh, understand the pathology, then to find new targets uh, to help uh, curing, uh, uh, healing uh, patients uh, subjected to, to these syndromes. What we want to understand is what's happening in the cells, in all, uh, in all cardiac cells, that would lead to a failure at the organ level. So it is what we call multi-scale uh, analysis, from molecules to, uh, to the heart. And so the matter is that we've got now a genetic tool to modify um, uh, the cells and to understand what's happening in a single cell, like a cardiomyocyte. But understanding that, that is not uh, um, always sufficient to uh, clearly uh, decipher uh, which mechanisms are uh, the main involved in the pathology uh, at the, the, the heart uh, level. So what we need is different tools to study uh, the molecules, but also how these molecules and, and the different cell type are interacting uh, at the heart level. Because one of our aim is to understand which mechanisms or which molecules are deregulated uh, in the core of the ischemic area or in the periphery or even in the healthy area, we've got to be able to uh, label and report their expression in the organ. Thanks to XClarity, uh, we can now have an access um, to uh, the three, three dimension of the whole heart uh, organ. Um, so when we are using uh, fluorescence microscopy, so this is a great, great change because uh, we can replace the expression of different markers in the context uh, of the whole organ. With this uh, clarification technology, with mouse heart, we can now make it to be mostly transparent and uh, with a fluorescence microscopy, we can um, record uh, uh, images of slices in the, achieving the heart. And so after that, with uh, computing and treatment, we can reconstitute in 3D. What we aim to do is, from X-clarity, clarification of the heart, to, uh, molecule, to um, fluorescence microscopy, and to computing uh, analysis, what we aim is uh, to provide a chain of method that is giving uh, reliable quantification of the ischemic area, of the area at risk, uh, and of the left ventricle volumes. We also expect that in the future, this chain of method we are trying to, 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 to set right now uh, will be a, a good tool for uh, our colleagues uh, worldwide. We are also um, having some trials on different organs to see if we can uh, just uh, generalize uh, this kind of strategy uh, to something else than hurt. Uh, brains for, brain, for instance, in the case of uh, stroke, because uh, it is almost the same, it is expected to be almost the same mechanism, so probably we could, do, uh, we could use the same chain of methods.